In this problem, we're told you push a 67 kilogram box across a floor where the coefficient of kinetic friction is mu sub k equals 0.55. The force you exert is horizontal. A, how much power is needed to push the box at a speed of 0.5 meters per second? And B, how much work do you do if you push the box for 35 seconds? So what we have here is this box. We know the coefficient of kinetic friction is 0.55. Mass is 67 kilograms. And we know there's going to be a force of friction going in the opposite direction. So that's basically what we know. Let's just go ahead and start with A. So for A, we're trying to find power uh, to push the box at 0.5 meters per second. So we're going to say P equals question mark because that's what we're solving for. We know the velocity we're going to be pushing it at as po is 0.5 meters per second. And we're trying to find, oh yeah, this is what we're trying to find. And so the way we're going to do it is by using this formula, which is power is equal to force times velocity. So if we want to solve for the power done, we need to know the force that we're going to be exerting and the velocity. So in this case, the force that we're going to have to overcome is the force of friction. So if we want to push it, we're going to have to have the force of friction, right, be equal to it or greater, or just equal to it, right? So uh, what we need to plug in for F is just going to be the force of friction. So in this case, the power is going to be equal to the force we have to overcome, the force of friction, times velocity. So what we need to do is find the force of friction. And if you remember from a few chapters ago, the force of friction is equal to mu sub k, or your coefficient of kinetic friction, times the normal force. And so F sub n, in this case, we know the normal force is just going to be mg. So the force of friction, or the power in this case, is going to be equal to the force of friction, which is mu sub k times mg times the velocity. So all we have to do really is just plug in. So P is going to be equal to mu sub k, which is 0.55, times the mass, which we know is 67, times g. Uh, this is the acceleration due to gravity, which is just 9.8, and then multiply by the speed we're going to be traveling, so 0.5. So what you want to go ahead and do is plug this in. So do 0.55 times 67 times 9.8 times 0.5. And so when you go ahead and do this, what you're going to get is the power is equal to 180.565. And then this is going to be in watts. So basically, it's going to be about 180 watts. That's going to be the power. So that's how much power we need to push it. So this is going to be your answer to A. Now for B, what is B asking? So B is asking how much work do you do if you push the box for 35 seconds? So for this problem, what we're going to be doing is solving for work. So we're going to solve for work. And the formula we're going to use is power, or sorry, yeah, power is equal to work over time. So what we're going to be doing is solving for work. And if we multiply both sides by T, that gives you work equals time multiplied by power. And so keep in mind, we know the power. It's going to be 180.565, and we're going to be multiplying it by the time. And they say we're going to push it for 35 seconds. So T is going to be 35. So 35 seconds, and then all we have to do really is just plug in. So how long we're going to push it for? 35 seconds, and multiply how much power. So it's going to be 180.565 watts. So go ahead and plug this in. So do 180.565 times 35. And when you do that, you're going to get the work is equal to 6,319.775. So, and then keep in mind, this is going to be in joules. That's what we measure work in. So you can just round to 6320 joules. So 6,320 joules. Or you can just leave it. Just make sure you do it how your teacher wants you to. But yeah, so this is going to be uh, the amount of joules or how much work, right? How much work if we're trying to push it for 35 seconds. So this would be your answer for B, this was A. So yeah, these are your answers and hopefully you found this useful.